Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you the first things that you should do after setting up your Lenovo Legion Tab Gen 3. Once you've set up your tablet, there are a few things that are worth doing to enhance your experience, but also to make your uh, tablet more convenient, smoother, or secure, securer. And let's begin by um, connecting to the internet, because that will be required for further steps. So go to the settings, and uh, now go to wireless LAN, and make sure it's enabled if you're connected to network that's great if you're not select an available network and enter its password once that's done scroll all the way down to about tablet here click on system update and click on check for updates when it says you have the latest version that's great if you have an option to download and install a new update then I'd highly recommend doing so because it will make your laptop, uh, your tablet uh, run smoother, secure and have the newest features which is quite great. Now let's also sign into a Google account, there's a high chance you have done it. To check it go to accounts and sync and if under, not over, under accounts for owner you have a Google account then it's signed in. If you don't, click on add account. It will be quite useful for further steps and for overall usage of your tablet. Go to Google. Now, select who will be using this device. I'm gonna select an adult or teen. Then, enter the password, uh, I mean the email for your um, account. Then click on next. And now enter your password. Then click on next and uh, you'll be signed in. You just need to accept that uh, Google Terms of Service. <clears throat> now let's wait a moment until it loads. Then select whether you want to back up your device data. If you don't know, then leave it enabled so you don't lose your data in case anything happens to your device. Now let's click on accept. Once that's done, we have now access to the Google Play Store. So let's open it, click on get started, then I'm gonna skip installing additional apps. I'm gonna click on no thanks here, and then click on your profile icon in the top right corner and go to my apps and games. Then go to updates and click on update all. Updating your app, apps is important for the very same reason as updating your device, but also some apps just won't work without an update. Now, let's go to another step. We can, in the process of the update, we can uh, do anything on the tablet. So let's go to the settings and set up our screen lock because I don't have any. Uh, here, you'll just need to go to security and privacy or biometrics and passwords. Then go, go to passwords and if it's set to none or swipe, set it to a pattern, pin or password. But before you do that, please make sure that the, the pattern, pin or password is something that you can remember because in case you forget it, there will be no way to recover it other than resetting your uh, tablet and uh, erasing all the data. But it's still worth it so no one else besides you has an access to your uh, to your device. Now I'm gonna set a pattern and I'm gonna set it to something pretty simple. I need to redraw it and click on done. Of course feel free to set it to something more complex so it's harder to guess but make sure that you remember it as I said. Now select what will happen to lock screen notifications and my favorite option is to set it to this second option which is uh, show sensitive content only when unlocked which means that when my uh, tablet is locked I'll see apps uh, from which notifications I've gotten but I won't see the content of those notifications unless I unlock my device. Click on done. There is also facial recognition but I won't be setting up th that because I don't really find it secure. This tablet only bases on the camera for the facial recognition, which means that it can be unlocked with a photo of you or by someone who looks similar to you, and I don't really like it. Now, let's move on to another step. Uh, you might have noticed on your home screen that if you slide to the leftmost page, 
it'll open like some type of like enter entertainment center or something like that I don't like it if you like it you can keep it but if you don't just press and hold on the home screen then go to home settings and disable swipe to access entertainment space now you can see it's not there and that's what I like now uh, you can also check change your wallpaper and you can set something provided by Lenovo uh, but feel free to set it to something more custom like your own photos taken on this device transferred from a different device or downloaded from the internet I'm gonna take a photo with the camera because I don't have any photos right now let's take any photo whatsoever then once it's taken let's go to the settings of course we're gonna be going to settings quite a few times today let's uh, see the personal uh, personal customization then allow all access and click on the wallpaper uh, i mean basically you can just slide here you'll see dynamic wallpapers some other ones from Lenovo and you'll have local albums so we can get started allow notifications or not and select the photo you want to set click on three dots in the right corner and click on set as wallpaper now approve it and set it as home screen lock screen or both screens I'm gonna set it just for lock screen and now it's set by the way I've forgotten to show you how to unlock your a tablet once the screen lock is set so let's see it with the lock screen wallpaper all you need to do is slide up then you can enter your pattern pin or password and I think that depending on where you slide up the uh, place to enter that will show up either on the right on the left or in the center <coughs> Now we can set up a few more things. Uh, so as you may notice, there's not too much bloatware here. All of the apps are system apps on the uh, tablet, basically. Besides maybe this black desert, desert mobile, I think desert. Click on uh, this trash icon, then click on OK, and it's uninstalled. Um, now you'll also see some other things but all of these are basically this is maybe the my script calculator they are mainly system apps but if something has a trash icon next to it and you think that you don't need that app feel free to get rid of that if you don't need it now let's move on to uh, the last uh, almost the last step two last steps uh, are uh, in front of us so first of all go to the battery and see if there is a mm, I think that it should be there a special setting for charge optimization yes and now mm, I think that basically make sure ju just that the battery maintenance mode is enabled that will improve your battery longevity now let's go to the last step Sw swipe up from the swipe down from the top of your screen then find finish setting up your device notification let's click on start and wait a moment until it loads now uh, you have a question if you want to copy your uh, data from a previous device and it's pretty important here that not to click on done copy if you actually do want to copy the data because later that option will become unavailable and there will be a way to do it with third-party apps but they won't be as reliable as this native method so if you want to copy your data from a different device feel free to do it now by clicking on next all the steps will be quite intuitive I'm gonna skip it but um, it's pretty important to just know that later it may be unavailable now I already have a password let's click on next 
then let's click on continue we've already clicked on a reminder about finishing the setup i don't want another reminder about that just click on more you can agree or not to nearby find and nearby share which let's contact share a files with you if you are like close together now uh, let's click on continue you can enable or disable hey google which will automatically activate gemini assistant by saying hey google out loud without pressing on any buttons and i'm gonna turn it on then let's click on next <coughs> and no thanks or just if you something if you want here and that's basically it for this video your tablet is now ready to be used i hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one